I'm planning on playing Baldur's Gate through one and two in the enhanced edition. Here's the character build. In the enhanced edition, you get a maximum of 161,000 experience. In Shadows of Am, as you go through the Throne of Baal, you get a maximum of 8 million. The enhanced edition is what I'll be playing. Okay, so if you look at the progression chart, when you go to Mage, your maximum is 7,875,000, but the game caps you off at 8 million, so you have 125,000 experience left over maxing out the mage in the vanilla game without the experience, removing the experience point cap. So for the vanilla game, you have 125,000 experience to play with. If you're a human, you can dual class from, to a wizard from another class. The thief benefits from the intelligence and dexterity just like a mage does particularly the dexterity for the thief. But the mage gets certainly the armor class bonus. So if you look for 125,000 experience, the max level for a thief is ninth level, 110,000. So, and then I would switch to a to a mage dual class to a mage after the 110,000 yes 125,000 max for a mage so i would go to 110,000 as a thief and then dual class to the mage so i would get an additional two hit points per level because a mage gets a die four, whereas a thief gets a die six. And I would also gain the backstab ability. And from the thief, I would get the ability to use long swords, short swords, katanas, scimitars, and other weapons that you cannot use as a wizard. In particular, as a thief, I could use a katana. A katana will let me use, for example, Dacon Zerth's blade, which would give me one armor class bonus and help me increase the amount of wizard spells, an extra spell for level one, two, three, and four. And it's a plus two weapon. So that is my plan to start off Baldur's Gate 1 as a thief and then at 110,000 experience to duel over to a wizard. Thank you for listening.